Sony carries an impressive history of innovation, and it has recently released the next-gen PlayStation 5. The PlayStation Pulse 3D headset is a companion to this, and for $100, you get a headset that's compatible with the PS5's immersive 3D audio, a balanced and warm audio experience, and 12 hours of battery life. It has a lot of things going for it, but can it really deliver? And once you get it, what should you expect? The PlayStation Pulse 3D is a wireless gaming headset that's compatible with the PlayStation 5's 3D audio feature, and it has the same aesthetic as the console. It's primarily built from plastic, but I didn't think it felt flimsy, so the long-term durability shouldn't be a concern. The faux leather ear cups are circular with some firm padding, and I thought it handled heat respectably well, and it created a decent seal around the ears. It didn't clamp too hard, and it stayed securely on my head, so it should be suitable for longer gaming sessions. I found that with the snug fit, it also doesn't bleed very much sound. It has a padded inner band, and it should comfortably fit on most people, though people like me with larger heads might find the fit a little bit too tight. All of the controls were easy to access, and they're located on the edge of the left cup. You get a knob to balance between in-game audio and chat, an on-off voice monitoring switch, which is useful for regulating your levels when speaking, a volume rocker, and a microphone mute button, and then of course, the power switch. The controls are small, but they're arranged well and it's not very confusing, although it can be difficult to tell whether or not your microphone is muted. I also noticed that button presses are accompanied by an on-screen notification, which is a unique feature you won't get from third-party headsets. You automatically connect it to your system by plugging in the dongle-like USB transmitter, and it's wireless compatibility with your PS5, PS4, and your PC. Unfortunately, it lacks Bluetooth compatibility, which is something I'd like to see in the future. And of course, you always have the old-fashioned way, a 3.5mm cable that you can connect to your Xbox, your phone, or anything else. It gives about 12 hours of battery life, which is on the short side for a non-Bluetooth headset, and it's less than most of the comparable competitors, such as the Turtle Beach Recon 200. Still, the battery should suffice for most marathon gaming sessions, and you can always use the headset in wire mode if you need to charge via its USB-C charging cable. I think where the headset really excels is in the sound quality. It holds its own against competitors. The 40mm Neodynam drivers provide crisp delivery with a detailed, warm, bass-forward soundstage. Even though it doesn't get into sub-bass levels like some of the premium headsets, I found the low frequency response to be solid, while the mid-range frequencies are textured and clear with present vocals, and the treble has a nice presence to it without being too bright, although I did notice that some of the syllabants could be dull at times. You should find the dynamics adequate as well, and it can admirably pick up on subtle volume shifts. I did notice that the timing can make busy sections sound a little bit muddy, and I would have preferred a companion software with a customizable EQ to dial those tones in. But overall, music performance is impressive for a set of gaming cans. It's also optimized to take special advantage of the PlayStation 5's proprietary Tempest 3D Audio Virtual Surround Sound. When wirelessly connected to the PlayStation 5, I found the sound to be excellent, though to note, it doesn't work via wired connection. I thought the experience was incredibly immersive and it outperformed the more common virtual 7.1 surround sound. You get a good sense of direction and a great sense of in-game space. Even in stereo mode, I found the sound imaging performance to be stellar and the LR drivers are well balanced so in-game sounds can be accurately placed. It also comes with dual pinhole microphones that should register your voice clearly. While the microphones offer some noise cancellation, I found that they were prone to picking up a bit of ambient noise, so I would have liked to have seen either an optional stock mic or a unidirectional design to have improved performance. So is the PlayStation Pulse 3 headset worth the money? I mean, I would say yes, although there is an exception. If you're a console gamer and you have a PlayStation 5, I would say that these are a solid companion and they are absolutely worth purchasing because of the Tempest 3D audio compatibility, which should dramatically enhance your experience, along with their overall balanced, warm, and versatile soundstage. However, if you don't own a PS5, I think there are some solid alternatives. The Turtle Beach Recon 200 headset is more affordable and it does give you a superior battery life and better microphone performance, though the bass response isn't as strong. If you want an option with surround sound, I would recommend the Razer Nari Essential, which costs a bit more, but it also gives you a powerful sound, a better microphone, and a user-adjustable EQ. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or found this video helpful, give it a like, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.